Mark Pivak, CTO at FBR, on Tuesday the 28th of July 2020. I'm standing in front of Hadrian number two, the future of construction robotics. In our recent build out at Dayton, we were able to demonstrate the speed, accuracy, safety and waste of Hadrian X robots in the real world. So with the speed, we've been laying blocks at up over 150 blocks an hour, averaged over a day with peak laying rates above 200 blocks an hour. That speed's only set to increase with Hadrian number one being upgraded in the background here at FBR. With the accuracy of the DST system, we're able to position blocks exactly where they need to go. And this not only means that the homeowner gets an accurate house, but it also enables the builders to build everything else which is going to interface with the bricks in parallel, off-site, bring it to site so that it will all interface and go together just perfectly. This is things like roof trusses, which traditionally have been very difficult to pre-manufacture for brickwork because the brickwork is not usually accurate enough. You end up with things like tapered eaves. That's no longer a problem because uh, Hadrian places the bricks very accurately. In terms of safety, we've greatly reduced the number of people which have to be in the building area. Uh, what this means is that because all of the heavy lifting is done by either telehandlers loading complete packs of bricks, or Hadrian itself handling the bricks into position. There's no longer need for people to be lifting heavy block work and doing repetitive motions. Uh, and this would be particularly the case when we're building a two-storey house where you no longer need scaffolding for the brickwork. Upfront digital design means that we know exactly how many bricks and blocks are required in every house. We know exactly what cuts are needed and exactly where they'll be. What this means is that the Hadrian program during the construction process looks ahead and looks how the offcuts can be reused. So internally in Hadrian, Hadrian will cut a block with its diamond saw and it will use the uh, cut block and then it will also store the offcut for later use. If a smaller block than the offcuts needed, it will cut that out of the offcut. And what this means is that there's very little waste at the end of the build often as little as just a few blocks. So coming up, we've got uh, a lot of work to do as we're about to roll this out globally and scale up. Uh, we've got a lot of demonstration builds to do for overseas customers. Uh, we'll be building a few different kinds of houses here at our premises at FBR. Uh, some of those will be European and Mexican houses uh, and also some for the US markets. We've also got a commercial build coming up uh, which is going to happen over the next couple of months here in, in WA. Uh, and that's really exciting because it's the first commercial build for Hadrian. As part of our continuous improvement program, we were able to demonstrate our new adhesive application, which is not only more reliable, but a lot faster, and it can adapt to a wide range of bricks. And what this means is that it doesn't slow down the laying process at all. So as we scale up globally, I'd like to point out that Hadrian is already commercially viable. Here in Australia, it would be extremely competitive against manual bricklaying. And really it's now just a matter of getting more machines out there, more builders involved, and uh, proving that Hadrian is the future of construction robotics.